Pod as a Woman is a weekly podcast co-hosted by three women who worked in the Obama White House. The trio weigh in on News of Day and offer a behind-the-scenes look at the inner workings of our federal government, as all three have personal experience with soon-to-be President Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Join us now are two of those three co-hosts, Johanna Masca and Alejandro Campo Verde. My special thanks to both of you for taking the time, Johanna. I do want to begin with you. In just a moment, we'll get to the podcast, but I do want to start with a little news of day more broadly. You're all Obama White House veterans, and of course, Johanna, we are at this moment where the GOP, the Republican Party, continues to tout a, a lot of down-ballot success. They really did <laughs> exceed a lot of expectations at the recent general election November. Were you surprised to see how well a lot of down-ballot Republicans did in November? No, I wasn't surprised. You know, I think that there's a lot of um, distrust um, of the political establishment out in um, what we're seeing with our voters. I grew up in Galesburg, Illinois. Um, that's a place President Obama talked about because we lost Maytag and lost manufacturing. And there's a lot of fear about what the future of the economy is. And so, you know, people are not voting for just one party. We're seeing that, right? They're, they're voting for the candidate that they think is going to best represent them. And so, you know, what we really want um, to see out of this government is we want to see people working together to bring solutions to all Americans and to the world. And so I think you saw that in kind of a divided vote in many cases. Mm. Alejandra, I know that you are on the medical board for the great state of California. So first of all, congratulations on that this year. Uh, but of course, to this issue of this once in a lifetime pandemic, give me your sense through both your experience as a White House veteran, as well as in the healthcare space, why you think that President-elect Joe Biden is the man for the moment. And how do you see this playing out uh, really within the first 100 days or so of the Biden-Harris White House? Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting because we have just talked about this. We had an expert on the podcast this past week to talk about where we stand right now. And Vice Pre or President elect Joe Biden is the perfect person right now because we need what we haven't had, which is a unified approach and a unified message and one that's culturally competent and is able to reach across all different demographics across all different languages and so when you're looking at the team that joe biden is putting together he's putting together a team again that is very diverse that has experience and that believes science and so we'll be able to put together put forward a message that people can trust and that people will know is not just for one party or the other because it's not about politics it's about taking care of all of our health and having a unified response as americans and of course, before we go, I, I can't leave the conversation without talking a bit about the podcast. Johanna Pod is a woman, of course, with your colleague, Darian Page, was named one of the best pol politics podcasts to help you make sense of the 2020 election by time. So congratulations on that distinction. What can people expect from these conversations, Johanna? Yeah, thanks um, for acknowledging. You know, we've seen a lot of uh, success with this podcast, and I think you know, we bring different perspectives of women of all different backgrounds in the middle of the country to uh, the coast. Um, we are trying to come together and talk about politics in a very different way. Um, there's a lot more nuance than I think um, people give uh, politics credit for. And I think we need to have that discussion as women, um, bringing in, you know, all people. We birthed the future, so we might as well have a seat at the table. Yeah, and thank you for that note there about nuance. You're not kidding. I try and convey that to people all the time. Uh, and Alejandra, what have been the biggest challenges to both recording the podcast as well as even your distribution strategy, trying to continue to pull this off successfully in the midst of an ongoing pandemic? To be honest, to anyone who's looking for an activity to um, help you pass the time during a pandemic when you're stuck in your home, launching a podcast is actually a great one because we've been able to record <laughs> And it's been pretty seamless. I think one of the best things about our podcast is we are three veterans of the Obama White House, but we also are three friends. And so it's been a nice way to connect with each other and just have that touch base as well as connect, obviously, with so many women who are joining us on this ride. Well, congratulations on that ride. I need to leave it there. It's been a very busy news day between Airbnb and everything else out of Capitol Hill. We will have you back to continue the conversation at some point soon. Johanna Masca and Alejandro Campa Verde, co-hosts of Pod is a Woman. Thank you both. Be sure to check out that podcast. 